a relatively new and important uh, class of drugs that have been introduced uh, to uh, treat diabetic patients are called the DPP-4 inhibitors. And DPP-4 stands for dipeptidyl peptidase 4 uh, inhibitors. We have uh, two drugs uh, in this uh, class. Uh, one uh, is called citagliptin or Genuvia, uh, and the other is called saxagliptin or Onglyzer. Uh, the Genuvia is given as a, a single 100 milligram tablet once daily, uh, whereas the Onglyzer is given as a single uh, 5 milligram tablet uh, once uh, daily. And they have a very unique mechanism uh, of action. Uh, when we ingest uh, food and the food gets into the uh, intestines, there are certain hormones that are released by the intestine that send a signal to our beta cells to make more insulin. One of these uh, very important hormones is called GLP-1 or glucagon-like peptide 1. So when the food is in the uh, intestine, uh, GLP-1 is released. This goes in the blood uh, to the beta cells and increases the amount of insulin that the body makes. Well, it turns out that diabetic patients uh, have insufficient amount of uh, this uh, gastrointestinal hormone called GLP-1, a glucagon-like peptide uh, 1. Uh, and uh, the dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors block uh, certain enzymes in the body which are uh, responsible for destroying the GLP-1. So our body releases the GLP-1 and diabetics have very low uh, levels because it's degraded by this uh, enzyme called dipeptidyl peptidase 4. So what we want to do is block the activity of this enzyme, dipeptidyl peptidase 4, so that when the body releases uh, the GLP-1 from the gastrointestinal tract, uh, the GLP-1 will stay around longer and higher levels uh, and will increase the amount of insulin which is uh, secreted.